Hi there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will be talking with you about the latest build from Microsoft, which is build 25115.1. And let me quickly show you here in PC. So let's press Windows menu button. And now we will be typing setting here. And now um, let me just go to Windows update or maybe here in system at the bottom in about. And here we go guys, we can see the OS build number is now 25115.1 Which is huge jump in terms of build number If you are following up these number changes with every build As the last latest build was 22616.1 Now it is 25115.1 This kind of jump actually we saw when windows have released Windows 11 after Windows 10. So we may see entire different Windows 11 from initial Windows 11 after this release because this is entirely next generation of OS build number. But let's talk about this particular build. What's new in this build, which is 25115.1. We will see addition of few new features, which we will going to talk about in a minute and lot of fixes. So let's start with first update. The first visual change that you will see here in the bottom right, which is watermark is back again, which will remind you that this version is not a stable version. So don't expect that thing from this build. This watermark let you easily see some quick info. For example, about this build number and the Windows variant is installed, which is Windows 11 Pro. If we talk about the next update, which is a kind of non-visual, but let me just quickly show you. Um, let's just press Windows menu button and go to settings. Here in Windows update, if we compare this side by side with previous Windows version, if I click on Windows Insider program, choose Windows Insider setting. The Windows has disabled flexibility of switching channel from dev to beta and beta to dev with this build. This means that with this build, you no longer allowed to switch your channels. Now let's talk about another feature that comes with this Windows. The Windows 11 through inline suggestion action let you perform some cool productivity tasks faster and smoother. Not only that, um, for example, uh, you want to add some event to a calendar so you can, you know, simply select the date and it will give you option to do that. Similarly, it will give you option to call someone when you select any phone number. And similarly, you will see some kind of suggestion with time as well. But unfortunately, I don't know with my particular case, I am not able to do so. Here you can see I am trying to select this date and nothing is popping up. So if same is the case with you, then do let me know in comment down below. Maybe this feature is region specific. Maybe this is enabled in US only. Please do let me know in comment down below whether this is enabled for you or not. Apart from that, the Windows 11 also have updated icons of Windows recovery environment on this build which we rarely visit let me quickly show you how it looks so if you have visited this page then it might have reminded you you know whenever our pc struck with some kind of issues then only we visit this page so this is a very subtle improvement i would say apart from this there are tons of fixes that comes with this version of windows for example, they have updated the speech platform to improve the voice activity detection for voice access, live caption and voice typing. Let me quickly open this and here it exists. If we go to setting and in accessibility, here we have got these all option which I'm talking about. So there are a lot of fixes for these both options, which is audio and captions. Apart from that, um, there is a issue related to taskbar which is now got fixed that is related to loading the system tray icons in setting so let's click back again on menu and go to settings and here in personalization if i click on taskbar and if i click here on other system tray icons there is no more crashes here you can see this does not crash at all 
so now you can see it is not crashing at all if it used to happen in past now this got fixed apart from that there are so many other fixes in different different domain for example in file explorer in settings they have done some improvement there is also improvement in taskbar where they have fixed some issue related to access keys there are also few bug fixes in taskbar windows security and some critical fixes like memory integrity and many more i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and i will see you soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye